of Hollywood, it's Triple Threat, the exciting new game show about music, movies, and television. Today, Oscar-winning actress Shirley Jones and her son Ryan Cassidy will be trying to win money for their teammate Dan Meyerowitz, a realtor from New York City, as they challenge everybody's favorite mom, Marion Ross, and her daughter, Ellen. And their teammate, Mel Lotion, the piano bar owner from Glendale, California. Those are our teams for today, and here's your host, the star of Triple Threat, Jill Ray! Hey, Danny. How are you? How are you? Hi, Shirley. Hi, Mary. Well, hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Triple Threat. This is the musical game the entire family can play, and on today's show, You'll hear songs that span three generations, and you'll find out how much you know about those songs and the stars and the shows that made them popular. Now, today's competing teams represent those three generations, so let's say hello to them right now. First of all, on my right, the team head by Shirley Jones. Hello, Shirley. How are you? How are you? You know your music? I hope so. Well, I'll I tell you, so. you, you brought some help, didn't you? Yes. Who'd you bring yes. along? I brought my son, Ryan Cassidy. There he is. What a good-looking guy. Yes. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> Are you a singer? I'm not a singer, but I can sing. How about acting? A little acting, yeah. Yeah, you're a good-looking guy, I'll tell you. Now, you're going to try and make some money for who, Shirley? We're trying to make money for Dan Meyerowitz. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Nice to you, meet you, Jim. Danny, nice how are you doing? Tell me about yourself. Well, Jim, I'm a realtor. I live in the San Fernando Valley with my wife. Mm -hmm. We have four children mm -hmm. and six terrific grandchildren. Oh, <laughs> they're proud of you today. All right, there it is, the Shirley Ross team. And on my left, the team headed by, I mean, they sure headed down. Yeah. Did I say wrong? You said wrong. Oh, well, I'm new at this, all right? <laughs> this is the Ross team, the Marion Ross team. Hi, Marion. You, last time I saw you, you were playing softball at the Happy Days That's group. right, and you did all the pitching. I did. Who won? Uh, you you did. did. Oh, you always won. Because the Bonds was pitching. Yeah, but he's tough. He's yeah. tough. Now, who did you bring to help you today? This is my darling daughter, Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the show. What a pretty gal. And who are you going to play for, Marion? This is Mel Ocean. Mel, welcome to the show. Tell us about yourself, Mel. Well, <laughs> my name is Mel Ocean, and uh, I have a uh, piano bar in Glendale. I have a wife and myself. We have six children between us and four grandchildren. My goodness. All right. Well, be, piano bar ought to help you on the show today. Huh? <laughs> I hope so. All right. Marion and Ellen will try to make some money for Mel. And there you, they are. Our teams for today's Triple Threat. Now, we're glad to have all of them with us, and this is how we play. In round one, each generation will go head to head. We'll play a song that was popular in their own era, and I'll ask three questions about it. We'll reveal four possible answers, but only one will be correct. The younger generation is going to go first, so let's get the teams in order. Ryan, come on over here. Ellen, move into your slot. There we go. Now, you know how we play. Buzz in when you think the right answer has been revealed, and not before. If you're right, your team's going to win $50 this round, Ryan. If you're wrong, though, you lose $50, you'll get a free guess. You understand? Good luck to both of you. Hands in positions. Here we go. Ready at home. Listen to the music and watch the board. In 1979, this song was number one for four weeks and became another million seller for a world-famous rock star. Here's the song, Do You Love Me? Do You Think I'm Sexy? Ellen. Do you think I'm sexy? I do, and you're right. Absolutely. And you pick up $50. That's how to do it. Who took, who took this song to the top of the charts? Was it Billy Idol? Rod Stewart? All right, Brian. Rod Stewart. You're right there, and it's tied up 50 a piece. In 1975, in 1975, what rock group did he leave to become a solo star? Little Feet, Legs, Faces, Ellen. Faces. You knew it. You're right. And 50 more dollars for Marion Ross team. I tell you, that's fantastic. You have started out well. Now let's bring in the next generation and the stars, the teams that, uh, come on, Marion. The teams are named for you, Marion Ross and Shirley Jones. Right. I got that right, okay? Now listen to the music and then keep your eye on the board. Here we go. In 1967, this song meant it was time for one of the most memorable comedy hours in television history. Whose theme is it? Sonny and Cher, the Smothers Brothers, Flip Wilson, Red Skelton. Shirley, want to try? Mother's brother. You're right. Absolutely. $50 for you on the other side. 100 for each team. 
Okay, Marion. What instrument did Dick Smothers play? Bass, guitar, banjo, piano. Shirley again. Bass. You're right again. You waited all the way through, but you got it. Another 50. What was the name of the comical cop played by Bob Einstein? Was it Officer Jamie? Officer Judy? Officer Judy? Or that's Jody and Judy? Or Officer Johnny? Yes. Mar uh, Officer Johnny? Oh, no. You lose $50, Shirley. Marion, you get a free guess now. Was it Officer Jamie? Officer Jody? Officer Judy? Anyone? Officer Jamie. No. Believe it or not, it was Officer Judy. I should have known you were fine. Yeah. yeah you both got it wrong. Well, there's no money there, but we have one more player to go in this round, so let's change places and bring on the next generation. Come on, Dan. Come on, Mel. Here you go. You all set? You guys are going to make the money, so you got to do well. Listen to the music and watch the board. In 1939, this song was highlighted in one of the most enduring movies of all time. Is the movie Over the Rainbow, Fantasia, Wizard of Oz, Mel. Wizard of Oz! You got it! $50 for Harry and Washington. What character sings this song? Is it the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, Mel again? The Cowardly Lion! You got it again! Final question. What actor spent all those hours in the lion suit following the yellow brick road? Was it Jack Haley, Ray Bolger, Billy Burke, or Burt Lahr, Melligan? Burt Lahr! You swept it. All right. You got all the 150 points you could get. And at the end of the first round, Marion Ross, the team, $250, Shirley Jones, $100. But that all can change because in round two, all of our questions are worth $100. And we'll be back with more Triple Threat right after these words. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody, and at the moment, the Marion Ross team in the lead with $250. Shirley Jones' team has $100, but you can make a comeback We're now. And Ryan and Ellen, your generation is up. Shirley, how many children did you have? Huh? I have three sons. Three sons. Is yes. Ryan the baby? Ryan is the baby. Did you treat him like a baby, get all the special treatment? Well, I think so. Yeah. I think so. He's my yeah. baby. Oh, you agree. All right. <laughs> Was he a good boy all the time? Wonderful. He sure is a yeah. good boy right now, and we? we're going to put it on his yeah. shoulders. He can make some money here. And how many do you have, Mary? How many children? I have two children. And Ellen, where does Ellen fall? She's the, the baby. Another baby. And she's the only girl. So the, and you're so the other one must be a boy. <laughs> must be. I figured that out. I got that one right. You know that? I may get the names wrong, but I can figure that out. Well, good luck to you now. This is outside your generation, so each question is worth $100. The songs we're going to be playing will probably be out of your era. Remember, if you're wrong, it's going to cost you $100, so good luck. Hands in positions. Ready at home? Here we go. Listen to the music. Watch the board. In 1968, this song was one of the first hits for a famous country pop entertainer. Here's the song. By the time I get to Phoenix, Metal on My Mind, Ellen. Metal on My Mind. You're right. And $100 for Marion. All right. What artist is singing it? Is it John Denver? Mac Davis? Yes, Mac right. Davis. No, I'm sorry. That's not correct. You're going to lose $100. You're going to get a free guess. You don't need to buzz in, Ellen. I'll just tell you. Is it John Denver, Glenn Campbell, or Roger Miller? Glenn Campbell. You're right again. Another $100 for Marion King. I had 450 to nothing. You need a comeback, Ryan. In what? John Wayne movie did Glenn have a featured role? Was it The Electric Horseman, Rhinestone, Midnight Cowboy, True Grit? Ryan. True Grit. You got it. You picked up $100 and you salvaged the 100 out of the thing. All right. Next generation. Come on in. Let's change places. Mary, your turn to play. And Shirley, come on over here. Okay, you're trailing, so you need to come back. I here. know. Okay. <laughs> but I don't never know anything. <laughs> you, <laughs> you may. It's out of your era, and that may be lucky for you, okay? All right, just listen to the music and watch the boy. Here we go. In 1950, this song was nominated for an Academy Award. It went on to become a chart-topping record. Is it Be My Baby, Be My Love? Surely. Be My Love. You're right, and you pick up $200, $100. Now you're cooking. What 
famous vocalist is singing this hit? Is it Vic Damone, Pavarotti, Mario Lanza, Marion? Mario Lanza. You're right, and a hundred dollars for you. See, you said you didn't know anything. You knew that. All right, now, in what 1951 movie did he play a legendary singer? Yes, Giorgio, the jazz singer, the great Caruso, Shirley. The great Caruso. You're right, the great Caruso, and another hundred dollars for Shirley. Uh, this is close. Let's change places. Bring on the next generation, Mel and Dan. Okay, Dan, you didn't do so well against Mel last time. Now, maybe you can do it here. You trail by 250. Here we go. Listen to the music, guys, and watch the board. In 1984, when you heard this television theme, you knew your living room would be loaded with laughter. Is it Alf, Barney Miller, head of the class, Night Court? Mel. Barney Miller. Ooh, I'm sorry. You lose $100, and you can jump to $50, Dan, if you get it right. Is it Alf, head of the class, or Night Court? Night Court. You're right. It's Night Court, and now we have a game. $450 to $400. Okay, who presides over the court? Is it Judge Wapner, Dan Fielding, Harry Stone, Mel? Harry Stone. There you go. You pick up $100 at the loss. $550 to $400. Final question. What Emmy Award-winning actor plays assistant D.A. Dan Fielding? John LaRoquette? Mel. John LaRoquette! You got it, and you pick up another. And that's the end of the second round. Marion lost the team, $650. Shirley Jones, $400. But we still have our three for all round, where all the questions are worth $200. Everybody plays, and we'll play more of Triple Threat right after this. Stay with us and play along. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, we can have a game today. Marion Ross's team, $650. Shirley Jones has $400, but Shirley, as you know, you can still win it for Dan, because now it's time for our three-for-all round. Now, in this round, any of you can buzz in when you think the right answer has been revealed. Any, everybody's playing, or every song. You got that? We can tell each other? Well, you can't talk to each other unless you get a free guess. You just have to buzz in on your own, and then you're on the spot. Okay, now this time, if you're right, it's going to be worth $200. Oh. But again, if you're wrong, you lose $200. So there can be a lot of change here. This round will end when you hear this bell. So try to get as many right as you can before time is up. The team with the most money at the end of the round wins the game and has a chance to triple the winnings for its contestant in the triple threat relay. Okay, this is it. Hands in position, listen to the music, and take a look at the board. In 1969, this song was in a low-budget movie that became a monstrous hit. Is the movie Woodstock, Five Easy Pieces, Easy Rider. Yes, Ryan. Easy Rider. You got it for your team of $200. Okay, big answer, big answer. What actor played the boozy lawyer who got beaten up? Is it Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper, Jack Nicholson over here, Marion? Jack Nicholson. You're right. That's a base hit for you. $200. Okay. In what 1987 movie did he play the devil? The Shining, Witches of East Lake? Yes, who buzzed it? The Witches of East Lake. You're right. Shirley and $200 for Shirley King. We are close. Okay, new song. Listen carefully. Watch the board. Any time you get close. In 1957, Frank Sinatra sang this Academy Award-winning song. Is it Young at Heart? Swinging on a Star? I Hope. Over here. I Hope. Mel, you're right. And another 200 for Mary Ross. Way to go, Mel. In what movie was it featured? It's a Wonderful Life. A hole in the head. Now, hole in the head. You know your movies. I'll tell you, that's right. And $200 more for Marion King. In 1967, Frank had a number one record with his daughter, Nancy. Is it These Boots Are Made for Walking? Ryan. These Boots Are Made for Walking. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not right. You lose 200 A big chance to go ahead now. Is it My Heart Belongs to Daddy, Something Stupid, or You Don't Own Me? What's the, what do you say? We need an answer. Something stupid. Something stupid is not stupid. It's right. You got it. And you pick up $200. And a big lead. All right. We have time for one more song. All right. Listen carefully. And watch the board. In 1976, this television show premiered with a successful mix of beauty and bad guys. Is it the bionic woman, policewoman, Charlie's Angels over here? Charlie's Angels. You're right. Alan knows. 
then you have to get another $200. You're hot now. Time is up. The game is over. And the Marion Ross team is the winner. Congratulations. $1,650. That's terrific for now. Guys, you are going along just fine there until it's still a free-for-all. You are both wonderful, Mary, or, uh, Shirley and Ryan and Dan. We have a nice gift for you for playing. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for being on Triple Threat. You have won $1,650. We're going to give you a chance to triple that for Mel when we come back with our Triple Threat Relay right after these words. Don't go away. We'll be back. Yeah, Mel, you're doing fine. So far, your team has won for you $1,650. Oh, That's great, a lot of money, but now you have a chance to win triple that amount. Today, our triple threat relay involves three recording artists who span three generations. Let me tell you about them. Come on to my house, my house. One of the most popular singers of the 50s and a successful jazz and ballad singer in the 70s. You're listening to the irrepressible Rosemary Clooney. Right. You knew that. Between 1964 and 1967, this group sold over 17 million records worldwide. They're major stars from the pop side of the British invasion, and they're called Herman's Hermits. Oh, who's going to do that one? All right. And with his Silver Bullet Band, this man brought together Detroit's two legacies, Hard Rock and Soul. He is the one and only Bob Seeger. All right, those are today's bonus artists, and here's how we play. I'll give your team 13 song titles, one at a time. Three of them were hits by Rosemary Clooney, three of them by Herman's Hermits, and three by Bob Seeger. All the other titles belong to the out-of-play columns at the end of our board up there. Now, this is just like a relay race, because as soon as you place a title up there, I'll give the next member of your team a new one, and each time you correctly complete a hit, li uh, complete a hit list, we're going to light it up like that, so you know that that artist is complete. If you correctly complete all three hit lists, you will triple the amount of cash you won so far, and Mel, you will take home... Four thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> so we're playing for you now. Thank you. Okay. Our clock is set for sixty seconds, and we'll start it when I reveal the first title here. Who's going to go first here? I'm going to go first. You're going to go in the order you're in there. Okay. All right. Stay behind the line. Remember, you can help each other. You can yell out, and you can change one card up there on your turn at the board if you think one is wrong. All set and tenderly. Tenderly. daughter was the other one. I'm Henry VIII, and there's a kind of a hush. We're all right. Well, guys, we just went you, you got, hey, you got eight of them. That's $100 the correct answer. That's 800 more dollars for mail at 100 an answer. Give them a total of $2,450 for mail. Thank you. Good job. We'll be back with Shirley Jones and Marion Ross right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back. Well, that's the way the board should have looked. Marion Ross's team only got one of Herman Hermits wrong. How did you do? Huh? You get them all right at home? I hope you did. Thank you, Marion. You were great. Congratulations. 
And you've got a beautiful daughter. Thank you, Shirley and Ryan. Good luck with whatever you decide to do. Thank you all. Jim Lang saying, remember to put a little music in your life. We'll see you next week on Triple Threat. Bye-bye. Contestants will receive a weekend for two at the Days in Century City, Beverly Hills, where elegance is affordable. Spacious room, special features, comfort and convenience. Furnished by the Days in Century City, Beverly Hills.